the Endurance Asia podcast. And always tell the truthful story if they ever ask. Stop the complaining because things ain't that bad. So I came to Thailand and I decided to um, look for mountain trails uh, from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai, which uh, are the two biggest cities of the of the north of Thailand. And uh, I decided to do this because when I came there 10 years ago, I came to the mountains, but there was no long hiking footpath. There was no marked footpath. So I was very happy to go to the mountains. I really enjoyed the, the atmosphere in the mountains uh, near Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. But uh, for a trail runner as me, uh, I was a bit frustrated because uh, there, it was possible to hike maybe five kilometer, ten kilometer, but it was impossible to do more. So I decided to come to Thailand and I decided to look for trails and I wanted to, li to link Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai uh, because uh, in my opinion it was a good opportunity to have a, a full overview, overview of what you can find in the mountains and it took me uh, one year uh, to find a, a route because nobody knew uh, here, nobody knew any trails there was no book uh, guides or personal guides uh, who had a, a knowledge about a, a full knowledge about the mountains. Just for those that don't know Thailand too well, like if you can yeah. just give the like location of Chiang Mai in relation to sort of yeah. Bangkok. Yeah, Thailand is uh, is famous for its islands, yeah. uh, which are located in the, in the south of uh, of Thailand. But the north of Thailand is, uh, is is more famous for its mountains. It's it's just close to the what all people I guess people know the Golden Triangle. So the Golden Triangle. It's also maybe if you have seen uh, also documentary on the Vietnam War, you know where they fight in the jungle and in the mountains. So that's typically this kind of atmosphere and this kind of mountains. That you can find in as well, isn't it? Like the Golden Triangle is known for opium, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Golden Triangle was famous for trades and uh, yeah. particularly for opium, uh, let's say uh, 50, 60 years ago and even before. And it's where China, Laos, it's and, uh, where uh, Thailand, uh, Burma, and God. Laos meet. Okay, yeah, and yeah. China is not far. It's just, China yeah. is also so it's it's also not not far from China. Yeah. But yeah, the atmosphere that's actually that's the beginning of the Himalaya, Himalayan range. That's where the Himalayan Himalaya, Himalayan range starts to grow. So it's not like uh, as uh, high as uh, as the uh, mountains you can find in Tibet or in Nepal. But that's where it uh, it grows. So it's a mix uh, between mountain and uh, and jungle. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So I decided to and um, I decided to and, look. And for sorry, the distance between Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. Uh, by 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 the road, it's 150 kilometer. Got you. But uh, of course, by trail, it uh, it took uh, much 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 longer. <laughs> it it was much longer than 150 k. At the end, the route I uh, I created from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai was uh, 350 kilometer. <gasps> Really? Yeah, okay. yeah, wow. because you know you can imagine that a, a road mostly goes uh, goes straight, yeah. but trails you have to deal with uh, with what exists. And to find the trails, I came to different to many many uh, hill tribe villages because there are many hill tribes uh, during the 20th century. Uh, many hill tribes who came from uh, Burma, from uh, Laos, from south of China. Uh, they came to Thailand and they settled in uh, in the mountains, and to communicate between villages, uh, they used footpaths. And uh, now the, all these villages are linked uh, by dirt roads, yeah. so local people don't really use footpaths as uh, as before, yeah. because now they have the choice to use motorbikes uh, here. But there, there are like uh, many, many trails, many footpaths, 
that was uh, used previously. So I decided to go to these villages and ask uh, local people to show me those trails. And uh, part by part, step by step, I uh, finally I, I could join all this part of, uh, of trails and to create a world route from, uh, from Chiang Mai to Chiang Rai. The Endurance Asia podcast. I know we tell a truthful story if they ever ask. Stop the complaining because things ain't that bad.